Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Fuck church. Boy, fuck church. Fuck everything that calls itself church. Fuck the, the C N the H N U you all that shit that's involved in church. Fuck them letters. Fuck, fuck church. Fuck church. G Lord, fuck church. And I'm sure Jesus can agree with me right now if he's looking at this video. Matter of fact, I just heard him say it in my right ear. Boy, fuck church. If this is what they calling church, if this is church, what do you need a club for? That, that woman could have went to the club. Listen to me. That woman could have went to the club and had a one night stand and caught herpes. But yeah, she caught it from a pastor. And I used to do a lot of activism, you know, with church shit. And, and I just said, you know what? I, this is me talking to myself. I said, bro, you have to let people be stupid. You cannot. It's not your job to interrupt someone who is determined to be stupid. If they want to be stupid and you're interrupting, you, what you are in fact doing at that point is hindering somebody's goal. And it's not your job. God didn't create you. That's not your purpose in life is to block someone from achieving a goal. And with some people, I'm just, I'm convinced that stupid is the goal. When they woke up that morning and on their things to do list, number four was stupid. And they just worked themselves down a list. They just worked themselves down a list. So I stopped caring about what people were, were, were doing in and around church. I said that, you know what, Tyre, hey, bro, you need to understand that there's a lot of things that aggravate you. That's none of your business. But see this right here. I just had to I just had to pause. I just had to stop for a second to say, boy, fuck church. <laughs> fuck listen to this. Just listen to this shit. Yeah, you got. Let me turn it up. Listen to this. Five million dollars to a woman that a jury found he gave herpes to. Tonight, that woman's lawyer is speaking only to our Devin Clark, who's live outside the courthouse where the judgment was granted just this morning. Devin. Go ahead, Devin. Chief Daniela, that attorney we spoke to, says it was a three-day trial with six and a half hours of deliberations. And after that, a jury found Reverend Ralph D. West the second liable and ordered that hefty judgment. Right, I can't fix it. She's got it for the rest of her life. Attorney Sean Murphy has listed as the Eldridge Campus Minister. The things that we look at for cases like these are essentially four things. Is the defendant infected and how can we prove it? Did he know he was infected? And, you know, how do we prove and Do we have evidence of that? Not only does Murphy say they were able to prove those facts, but also that Wes lied when asked about having herpes and that he gave it to his client after they had unprotected sex in March of 2018. She got an outbreak two or three days later, um, went in and got tested. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not, that's about as much as I could take of that. <laughs> I can't take no more. Then he got the nerve to call a church a church without walls. That's a church without condoms is what it is. It's a church. It don't have nothing to do with the walls. The walls ain't the problem. The problem is it's, it's a church without condoms. She going to have unprotected sex and you sit in one pew behind the first lady. So, you know, he, his, his wife, they got a wife. You know, so the wife got the herpes. Everybody got the herpes. It's just herpes in the name of Jesus. Fuck boy, fuck church.